I, I got saved when I was 21 years old. I was always in church. Billy Graham, uh, one of his first conferences, and uh, asked Jesus in my heart. I remember I was a freshman in college, went with my mom and dad and several other uh, college students. And when they, he asked for the invitation, I was sitting there eating a candy bar. Actually, it was Hershey bar with almonds. And it was like something grabbed me by the nap of my neck. And I was down at the altar crying and nobody else in the road got up. And it was that point in my life that was a turning point. My inspiration in starting House of Hope was I taught school in the Orange County schools for 25 years. Ended up teaching behind bars at Juvenile Detention Center. And the same teenagers would come and go without any lasting help because we couldn't mention the name of Jesus Christ or teach the parents. And so one night in my distress, I cried out to the Lord and I said, what are we going to do about these hurting teenagers? And in a still small voice, he said, I want you to start a place and call it House of Hope. The next day I got together four friends and we started praying. We only had $200. Everyone I shared with saw the need and everybody was on board with us. We had all volunteers, including myself. We didn't have a building at first for our teenagers to come to. And so I wrote a grant and prayed and asked for $95,000. You know, with grants, you never know if they're going to come through or not. Anyway, she was so touched by what we wanted to do that she said, I, I'm gonna share this with my husband and I'll call you back in a couple of weeks and uh, we'll talk. She called me back and she didn't know I'd written a grant. And she said, if you want uh, the uh, property, we, we decided we'll let you have it for $95,000. And I said, we'll take it. The next day when I went to the post office, there was a letter from this organization that said, we're happy to tell you that we're giving you the $95,000. We know that secular programs don't work. It's like when President Reagan was here, he said that uh, programs that really focus on, on Jesus. House of Hope in Orlando is already a model outreach program. Its goal is to reconcile teenagers with their families and its successes are accomplished through education, pastoral and professional Christian counseling, and guidance for runaways, throwaways, and abused teenagers. Most everybody that comes to us at House of Hope has tried a secular program, some of them as many as three or four, and only Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit can change your life. Our whole mission statement is Malachi 4.6, turning the hearts of the fathers and mothers to the children, and the children back to the fathers and mothers, lest there be a curse on the land. But we have seven Houses of Hope now across America. But House of Hope Orlando is a national model. Now I'm going to focus more on getting more places like House of Hope Orlando across America. For all the staff and all the teenagers and all the parents and all that we've worked with, I know that they have been, uh, that Jesus Christ has called them here. And I know that he never starts a good thing unless he completes it. And I think the teenagers and parents that come here are hand-picked. So I'm, to them, I just say be encouraged because uh, God's not finished with any of us yet. And uh, just to keep focusing on Jesus and uh, everybody's gonna be victorious.